He went down to Florida. He's trying to correct a lot of things. And Dan, it's important that not just that he's in the zone more because that's first and foremost, but he has to be in the zone with quality pitches. More like they were last year. Here's a pop up at Whit Merrifield to make the catch as Zach McKinstry is retired for the first out. Torkelson safely in two straight games, 225 hitter on the year with 12 home runs. 3 2, and there's a slider on the outside corner to get him, two down. And a fly ball to left center field. And very shallow as it turns out as the left fielder Dalton Varsho makes the catch. A base hit, nothing more. Kiel Badu just activated off the injured list today. And a slider got him. Strike three called. Second strike out of the night for Manoa. That's a really good one. That's the backdoor slider that we've seen. Danny may have wanted to middle down, but see how it looks like it's going to be out over the plate, comes back. That'll bring up Miguel Cabrera. And Manoa strikes him out. A slider for strike three call three up three down go the Tigers three strikeouts through two scoreless hitting two outs here in the third nine hitter Kevin Kiermeyer will stand in. Kevin Kiermeyer grounds one into right center for a base hit and the Blue Jays have their first base runner of the night. It comes with two down here in the third. There's a good leadoff man and George Springer not going as Springer lines it down the right field line fair ball. And Kiermeyer is coming around third and is in to score. As the Blue Jays take the early lead, it hit that short retaining wall that juts out and right and just kind of stuck there. So Carpenter had a long run to Joe to go get it, and that allowed Kiermeyer to score. A leadoff walk for the Blue Jays. Here's Vladdy. And that's grounded into left, a base hit. Belt had to make sure it got through, and with nobody out, he'll be cautious, obviously. First and third now for the Blue Jays for Matt Chapman. And the 3 2, and Chapman lays off and takes a walk to load the bases. Bringing up the big slugger with Merrifield. Line drive, center field, and it's down for a base hit. Belt will come in to score. Guerrero is held at third. An RBI single for Merrifield, and the Blue Jays are back on top. Just like that. A couple of good plate appearances back to back. Matt Chapman laying off that slider for ball four. Passes it on to Whit Merrifield and look at the pitch he gets. It's a slider that stays in the middle of the plate. You're not trying to pull that pitch, trying to work under it and drive it in the air. He does that to center field. So now Danny Jansen looking to get a ball in the air. He wants to do two things hit a ball hard and pull it. And he just did both of them. And two runs will come into score. And with the fumble in the outfield, Jansen's into second base. Just like that. Danny does his damage by getting breaking balls out over the plate or fastballs out over the plate that he can get out there and around it. Watch where the pitch is out there and around it exactly. Now Kevin Kiermeyer, the batter, one two again. And a ground ball weakly hit to the right side. A run will come in to score. Kiermeyer is out at first and collides with Ibanez. Everybody's okay. So it's an RBI ground out for Kiermeyer to make it five to one. And a bit of a miscommunication in the infield between Ibanez and Torkelson. This ball's not hit hard at all. If Ibanez comes up with this, now Merrifield runs well and he got a good jump. I'm not sure he has a shot at the plate, but after that little collision there, they had no shot. It is five to one, and now here's George Springer for the third time. And Springer hits one hard down the left field line. Will it stay fair? You betcha. Off the foul pole and gone. A line drive two run homer for Springer. And it is seven to one. Well he hit it so well it looked like it was just going to be a matter of whether it stayed fair. End of the line for Alex Fayedo after three pretty good innings. But here in the fourth the Blue Jays roughing them up. They have scored six runs here and now lead seven to one. Alec Manoa has given the Blue Jays five innings of one run ball. Managed five strikeouts and he is not allowed to hit since this man singled home a run in the third. That's Spencer Torkelson. And a swing and a miss as Manoa gets Torkelson for strikeout number six on the night. Much better slider there. That's the one you want to see. 0 oh and 2. You started on that outside corner. If you can get the swing, you do, and it's a big chase from Torkelson. So a man on with a one out for Kerry Carpenter. 
Swing and a miss at a fastball up. Seven strikeouts now for Alec Manoa. Runner goes again, and the 3 2 swung on and missed. Got him with a fastball away, and if that's the end of the night, Manoa's got to be pretty pleasing. So now Vladdy, who is one for four, line drive right center field, and that's a base hit. Bichette is getting the wave around third, and he'll score as the ball was dropped by the relay man. I think that was Baez who dropped it as Bichette comes around third and in to score on an RBI single for Guerrero. And Chapman takes his third walk of the night, and this one's going to load the bases. Here's Merrifield. And that one to the backstop and here comes Belt and he'll score easily. The other runners advance and the Blue Jays add another run to make it nine to two. Wild pitch. And Merrifield's going to make them pay. Did he get another one. Look at this. After two home runs in the nightcap last night Whit Merrifield launches another one. And blows it wide open for the Blue Jays. When a pitcher is struggling with the strike zone, it makes it easier for a hitter to just zone right in. And he got a fastball middle in. It may have been 96, but it was all over it. Two outs. So short will be the pinch hitter. And that's the ball game. The Blue Jays win in convincing fashion. They have two big innings tonight. They got six in the fourth, five in the ninth. They win 12 to two, and there's smiles all around, Joe. They've won four in a row.